Back on the walk. Yeah, I felt the burn all right, Michaela. I'm pretty sure my left arm doesn't even work anymore. <laughs> I'm trying not to be whiny, but I'm feeling a little whiny and weird and not quite like myself. Burr! No, ma'am. <laughs> Apparently you've been watching me putz around for 40 seconds and I didn't even realize it. It is very cold outside. Good morning. I think you can hear I'm a little congested this morning. I'm hoping it's allergies. We just found out last night that one of the people we were hanging out with at the event this weekend tested positive for COVID. She obviously didn't have any kind of symptoms or anything else. We're hoping that maybe it was just antigens from previous exposure or something. We don't know. We'll find out, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having a really hard time getting myself together this morning. It's like I woke up at eight o'clock and wasn't even like getting off the toilet and like up and around and moving until like nine o'clock. <laughs> yeah, this one of them days. We're gonna be mixing a few things up this week. I feel like my weight loss has really, really slowed down. It's been very yo-yo-y the last several months. And even though I feel like a lot of the time I've been really good with my workouts and really careful with my diet and I'm still having weeks where I'm not losing or I'm even gaining a little bit on those weeks. It's been happening for a long enough period of time now to where I feel like I need to change some things up. These are things that I've been thinking about changing up for a while anyway. So this week specifically, I'm planning on increasing my calorie cycle from 1500 calories to 1550 calories. And I'm also going to change my resistance training days to Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then I will do my WAOK days on Tuesday and Thursday, weather permitting. So that's the plan. I had a talk with a friend of mine who's a PT this weekend, and he talked to me about blood flow restriction or occlusion therapy. And I may or may not start looking into that. Um, well, I mean, I'm already starting to look into it. I may or may not try that. I don't know if that's something that I want to incorporate or not, but I'm definitely gonna look more into, I mean, obviously I know the science of how it works and everything. I just don't know if it's something for that's safe for me to do at home by myself. And I also don't know if the more affordable BFR straps and bands and stuff like that are even like, if they're even gonna do anything. So, cause I'm not paying $300 for blood flow restriction cuffs. That's not a thing that is in my future right now. So anyway, uh, if you don't know what BFR is, it's basically restricting the blood flow to your extremities, your arms and legs, while doing low weight, like low intensity resistance training. And there's a lot of science behind it, but pretty much it just makes your muscle grow a lot faster with a lot less weight and a lot less strain on your body, which for somebody like me who has joints that are already under a lot of strain is extremely attractive. So I will look into it some more and, you know, we'll see how it goes. I also sent out a kind of a poll not kind of a poll, it was a poll, <laughs> to ask if you guys would be interested in me testing out a high protein meal planning app. It's one that I've been looking at for a long time and it's not very expensive at all, but the only reason that I haven't taken the plunge is because I know right now all of the recipes I use are free for you guys to get a hold of if I was to test out this app and use her recipes. While she does have quite a lot of free recipes on her Instagram, and I've already tested some of them. It's um, the Elise Alice on Instagram. She's the one who did that baked Monte Cristo thing that I love so much. Um, but I just constantly hear such amazing things about her Macro First Foods brand and the app and the recipes and how amazing they are and how easy they are. And she has an actual meal planning like 
thing on the app that's included in it and it has all of the recipes in it and it will make your shopping list for you and it will just make meal planning a lot easier because when I did my meal planning video a lot of you were very grateful for all the tips that I had but many of you said that yeah but can you do the meal plan for me so I thought that this was something that might be helpful to all of you I mean I know it would be helpful to me and all of us are interested in getting in more protein and we all find that difficult so it's kind of one of those three birds one stone type things so I will keep you guys posted. I'm going to give that poll a little bit longer, but it seemed like a good majority of you were interested in hearing about that. So I will definitely let you guys know about that and I'm going to contact them and see if there's any way I can get a discount code or something like that to help you guys out. Any who's it, I'm stalling because I don't want to exercise and also I'm very cold, but we're going to get our butt together. I was going to come out here and clean up my yard, but it is starting to rain and the yard people are finally here. They haven't cut my yard in several weeks and Helios has been a total butthead about it. Like he will not go out in the, in the tall grass, which has made my life extremely interesting over the last week. <laughs> Let's go get a workout in, get some breakfast, get this day started. We got this. Back on the walk, oh, one. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a 12 minute resistance band arm workout with Fit by Mix. If you guys haven't gathered by now, I like Fit by Mix workouts. It's not easy to find resistance band workouts where they use these kind of resistance bands. how much I hate shoulder exercises. some breakfast. I realized my kitchen is a complete disaster. I, believe it or not, I actually cleaned up some last night. I have to figure out the storage solution for some kitchen stuff, but it just, it just hasn't happened yet. So we're doing a new recipe this week. I'm doing an English muffin breakfast sandwich situation in the air fryer. Uh, this is another flexible dieting lifestyle recipe, and we're going to use these Thomas's light multigrain English muffins. I'm gonna try these out. They're only 100 calories for English muffin. And then it's got two slices of Canadian bacon. Oh, and cheese. The cool thing is it uses egg whites and he cooks them in a ramekin in the air fryer. So it makes like a little egg puck thing. So I like this real egg original stuff. It is it's just egg whites and seasonings, but texturally and visually, it looks more like an actual egg rather than just egg white. So I prefer it, uh, but it is way more protein and lower, less calories than actual egg. Plus, I don't have to sit there and beat them up and have like stringy bits of what. Anyway, I'm rambling because I'm tired. So let's throw this thing together really quick. We're gonna start with, this is the closest thing I have to a ramekin. I mean, it's basically a ramekin, except for a ramekin has straight sides and this, the sides are flared out a little bit, but it'll be fine. So we're gonna use a little bit of nonstick spray and he uses like way more nonstick spray than I plan to use, but I'm just gonna do that much. And I have this little silicone brush and I'm just gonna brush it up the sides to make sure it's easy to get it out. He adds a pinch of salt, but I'm not going to need salt because this is already seasoned. 150 grams. Wow, that's a lot. This goes in the air fryer on 350 for 15 minutes. He just did sliced cheese, but I'm, I needed this block cheese for another recipe this week. And I only need 
21 grams. I currently have my mangoes sitting in a paper bag with an avocado because it will help them ripen a little better. For the rest of the week I'm doing mango, but I wanted to give them another day to ripen and I needed to eat that extra strawberry anyway. Okay, let's check on these little, this little egg white friend. Oh wow, mine did not stay all nice and <laughs> even like his. Must be a reason that he overloaded his with as much oil as he did. So we're doing just the egg and the two Canadian bacons for four minutes. This is time to me. So lesson learned about the uh, ramekin. It does need that much oil. So the Canadian bacon we're gonna let go for four minutes in there and then we're gonna throw the English muffins in there and it says to put the cheese on top of the egg for that last three minutes, but I saw what his cheese looked like and that was too long. So I'm actually gonna open this up and I'm gonna do this. I'm not gonna give it as long as his. I'm gonna let that go two minutes without the cheese, open it up, put the cheese on top of the egg, let it go for the other minute. And then I'm gonna put it together and I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, yum. Look at that. I actually remembered that it was shot there. This is the Manjaro pen. And hopefully you can see there's a little bubble. That's where the medication is. This has a little gray cap that you need to take off, but not until you are absolutely ready to inject the meds. There is a needle that is exposed in there, and once you take this cap off, the likelihood of you bending it is extremely high. Basically, you're going to sanitize the area you're going to inject. You can either inject in the top of your thighs, the back of your arm, or in your stomach. With any subcutaneous injection, you want to avoid scars and stretch marks, so that's a big part of why I don't inject into my stomach that, and I just feel awkward about injecting into my stomach on camera. I did Wego V in my arm for six months. I would do this in my arm, except for it specifically says the back of your arm, which would require someone else to do it for me. And Helios has not developed opposing thumbs yet. So anyway, you're gonna sanitize the area, take off the cap, put it to your skin, rotate this to the green unlock position, and then you push the purple button to dispense the meds. You will hear two clicks. The first one, the needle goes into your skin, injects the meds. Once it's done, the second click pulls the needle back up into the pen. You know you're done because it's not in your skin anymore. Sanitize. I have had people asking about itching and redness uh, around the injection site. I absolutely do get itching and redness almost every single week now. That's only been since switching to the 10 milligram. I didn't used to have it on any of the other doses and the redness like kind of reduces to almost like a bruise and it stays there for almost the full two weeks that it takes for me to come back and re-inject. There's almost like a still a little like halo around. I can see where it was, but I just make sure that I don't inject in that exact same spot again. So again, lid comes off. I'm gonna push it firmly to the skin, twist to unlock, push to dispense. Oh, that was a little bit burny this week. Not too bad though. It's a weird kind of burn. I don't know how to describe that. I think the alcohol might not have been all the way dry. So anyway, if you have a misfire, do not put this cap back on because they will not replace it for you. And then that just goes in a sharps container. If you don't have one, I have a link in the description where you can get a free one from Eli Lilly. And we are gonna just go about our day. I'm gonna eat my breakfast. Let's get this and taste it. That's pretty darn good. If you didn't want to do the egg yolk or the egg, just the egg white, you could definitely use that ramekin trick with just like a whole egg. And if you played with the timing just right, I bet you could even get a runny yolk. But that would definitely make eating it in a sandwich challenging. That's really tasty. It is kind of time consuming to do on an everyday basis. The part that's the most time consuming is the egg pucks. So you could probably meal prep those and then just 
warm them up in the microwave. I like the English muffin a lot. Mm, for only 100 calories, that's pretty good. That would make a fun sandwich too. I mean, the Sara Lee Delightful bread is only 45 calories a slice, so I mean, that would be 90 calories for a sandwich as opposed to 100. And they're slightly bigger. This is just a different texture. Yep, I'm a fan. I will be looking forward to eating that. I will say I miss the flavor of the American cheese. So if you're an Egg McMuffin fan, oh, he did put sriracha on his too. I'm not, mm. so if you're a big Egg McMuffin fan, you could definitely just do American cheese instead. And I'm sure that that would be extremely delicious. I'm gonna eat this, get started on editing today's video, and I will catch you guys at lunchtime. Hey guys, so I was logging my strawberries and I totally forgot that I had added calories to put some blackberry jam on this sandwich. It's not part of the recipe, but there's several different iterations of breakfast, like high protein breakfast sandwiches out there. And one of them, I saw that they put jam on theirs and I liked that idea because it kind of reminded me of the baked Monte Cristo situation. So I just put some on the other half of my sandwich and I just figured I would take bite with y'all. So I like it with and I like it without. So if you want to give it a try, give it a try. I was trying to find a way to add a few more calories to my breakfast because I didn't want to eat two of them. I knew there was no way I could eat two of those sandwiches, but it's all right. I think I like it just as much without it. So I don't know that I would do that. I may not do it for the rest of the week. So it's okay. But the sandwich is real good. Hey guys. Time got away from me a little bit. Richard and I were playing some video games and it's time for dinner and I, I gotta do the things. Uh, anyway, we're just doing chicken fajitas tonight, but I'm going to make, if you remember the chicken bacon BLT pasta salad thing that had that amazing avocado dressing on it. We're gonna make some of that avocado dressing so that we can eat it on our fajita tacos and also on our burrito bowls that we're going to be doing for lunch starting tomorrow. So I'm going to throw together that. I'm also going to make some pico de gallo and then I'm just going to cook the chicken fajita meat that I got that's pre-marinated from H-E-B and then we're going to throw some tacos together. Let's do it. This made way more than I remember. And this is why I always use my citrus juicer. got sidetracked with editing and I kind of lost track of time so I'm eating a little later than I normally would and I would just not eat at all except I haven't had nearly enough calories today for that. I just mixed the cottage cheese and the jello together. I left the strawberries out because last week I didn't do strawberries at all because I accidentally forgot to buy them and I noticed that it didn't get liquidy like it does. So I'm just leaving the strawberries out and I'm gonna cut them up and put them on top. Sorry, I'm having difficulty multitasking at the moment, apparently. So dinner was freaking delicious. Very, very easy. Man, I could eat that avocado dressing on everything. It is so freaking good. Highly recommend. So delicious. Eat it with your face. So pretty. I know you were really hoping that one was gonna fall, buddy. I'm sorry. We've talked about this. You can't have pistachios. Apparently dogs can't digest nuts. Oh, you need to see this. Look how pretty that is. So excited. Really enjoyed those tacos. Very, very filling. I'm really going to enjoy eating that avocado dressing all week long. And I have a feeling that I'm going to have a hard time eating all of it. So that's a thing. 
because I ate barely over half the serving that I was supposed to have and it felt like they were drowning. I mean, I wasn't mad about it, but I definitely didn't want to put more dressing than what I had on there. So I'll probably just have more in the burrito bowls, which is totally fine. I've already allotted myself the calories for the whole batch. So it doesn't really matter what which place I eat them in as long as it gets eaten because it's good healthy fats and it's delicious. I'm going to eat this fluff, cuddle with my puppy, and enjoy the rest of my night. I hope you guys are having a good day. Good morning. It is very cold out here. I never did my pills yesterday because there were a couple days where I didn't take them. I didn't need to, so hashtag lazy. I have been sleeping so good since I started that Stelly stuff. It's crazy how much better I'm sleeping. I go to bed, I go to like I pass out, and then if I do wake up in the middle of the night, like I go back to sleep immediately. I feel like I haven't been having as many super vivid dreams. So that's nice because they were getting a little, little while and out for a little while there. Anyway, Helios is just doing his business and we're supposed to go for a WALK, but it is like 30 some odd degrees out right now. <laughs> I may need to let it warm up a little. I may need sun. Don't eat birds. Jerk. Yesterday was a weird day. Richard came home from Lubbock fairly early and then he wanted to play WoW and I can't say no to my husband. <laughs> so we played some video games. I still wasn't done with the video that I was hoping to get up yesterday. And then I worked on dinner and then I still didn't get it done last night. So it's like I'm having this weird thing where Richard was like, well, did you get your video done? And I was just like, it was almost like apathy. Like I was like, eh, it'll get done kind of thing. And I haven't felt like that at all since starting this. And that was really, really weird. I feel like if you guys watched that video that I did on the five tendencies and I'm the obliger and they talked about obliger rebellion, or I think that's what it was called, where like you start to sabotage things. And I feel like I'm almost slipping into one of those where I'm mad because I haven't hit my hundred pounds yet. And it's like, I'm almost in self-sabotage mode and I don't understand how I got here and definitely not right now. Like tomorrow I have my photo shoot scheduled and I should be so excited about that, but I'm really not. Another one of my nails fell off again last night, which I should have taken these off over a week ago, but it means that I definitely have to do my nails tonight and I don't really have time for that, but I mean, it has to happen now because I have the photo shoot tomorrow. <laughs> I'm trying not to be whiny, but I'm feeling a little whiny and weird and not quite like myself. Thank you guys for being here with me when I'm just feeling kind of blah. We're gonna have a good day. I shopped the back of my closet and found a pair of jeans that I haven't been able to wear in several years and they just zip right up and they fit perfectly. If anything, they may almost be like half a size too big, which is awesome. And that should make me extremely happy, but I'm just kind of like, meh. They're 24, they should be way too big. <laughs> just having one of those days, y'all, you know? It's gonna be okay. Let's go get some breakfast. When I did my meal plan this week, I knew I wanted to have those chicken and veggie burrito bowls that I was supposed to make last week, but didn't need to because I had too much food. <laughs> Common theme around here. I wanted to make sure that I picked things that went with each other to kind of make my life a little bit easier because I have a photo shoot tomorrow and I've just got a lot of stuff going on this week. So I did the fajitas last night and I'm using the same chicken for the burrito bowl today. And I'm also reusing that same chicken for the cracked out tater top casserole that we're doing for dinner tonight. So I only had to cook the chicken once and that's going to make my life a million times easier this week. And really the only thing I need to do to make lunch ready today is to cook a little bit of rice in the rice cooker 
and to saute up some fajita veg, which you've seen me do a million times. I'm just going to do the onions, poblano peppers, and mushrooms. That's what I like. You guys can just do, he did like a packet of frozen mixed vegetables that was like corn and green beans and peas and something else. And I'm not a big fan of peas and those felt like weird vegetables to go in a burrito bowl to me. So I am making my life a little more difficult than it has to be by doing it this way, but I'm okay with it because I like the flavors and really it's the only major prep that I have to do to get lunch ready because I already made the avocado dressing last night. So literally just need to saute those veggies and make my rice. If you don't know, rice triples in size when you cook it. So I'm going to be eating one cup of rice with each meal and I'm making three portions of this lunch. So I need to cook one cup of dry rice, which will yield three cups of cooked rice. If you have tried cooking rice in a cooker, in a rice cooker, or just in general, and it comes out sticky, it's because you're not rinsing your rice. So I always, always, always rinse my rice. It makes a huge difference in the texture. And if you wash Josh Wise, Josh Wiseman, you know, you need to wash your god dang rice. Got your gosh dang rice. This is just jasmine rice. You can use whatever kind you have. And now that that's doing its thing, I'm just going to set it over here so it's out of my way because I have a tiny kitchen that's stupid. Grab my veggies. One thing to note about when you're cutting onions, instead of cutting them into half moons, cut them pole to pole, meaning like you cut off the top and like the root end and the top, and then you cut them from cut side to cut side so that it's like this, they come out more tender that way. So if you are going to cook your mushrooms like immediately, like they're gonna, you're gonna wash them, slice them and immediately throw them in a pan, you can use actual water. Alton Brown told me so, and he knows everything. So you can just use water, actually wash them. You don't have to do the paper towel thing. Now, where the paper towel thing really matters is if you're eating them raw, first of all, or if you're going to be prepping them to use later, because that water can absorb into the mushroom. It's kind of like a sponge, and it can make it really rubbery. But if you're cooking it immediately, all that water is going to get cooked off anyway. It doesn't matter. And I always salt immediately because it helps draw out moisture and it makes them cook faster. I'm not going to do a lot to these seasoning wise because I have that avocado dressing that's got a ton of flavor in it. I'm just going to do salt and pepper and that's it. Okay. And then I'm going to let that go. Let those mushrooms give off some liquid and cook. And then we'll pull everything together. This is obviously going to be a very similar flavor profile to last night's dinner. We just have rice instead of a tortilla and we've added some veggies, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to have a hard time getting through all that dressing this week, I can already tell. I feel like this would be really yummy just as a salad, so like if you didn't need the carbs, like I'm always under on my carb count for the week, so I actually even upped the amount of rice because I was struggling hitting the new calorie goal that I have for myself. And that's an easy, quick way to add some calories. I could really benefit with like some acid. So if I had made enough pico de gallo, I would have thrown some of that on here. I usually make way too much, but because of that, I didn't make as much this time. And now I wish I had. Also, pickled onions would be really good on this if I had some, but I don't. I do have some pickled jalapenos, but I feel like it's got enough spice between the poblano and... All that Cholula I just dumped on it. I have a very tasty lunch. I feel like anything you put that avocado dressing on would be delicious though, so, you know. And if you're dairy-free, it would be pretty easy to turn that into a dairy-free thing. It wouldn't have nearly as much protein, but you could do like coconut milk or, ooh, you could do um, silken tofu instead. And that would still give you the protein. I'll be good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go finish shoving this in my face and get some work done. Tell me what you're eating for lunch today. I want to know. Do you have a favorite recipe you want to pass along to me? Because I would love to try it. Let me shout out in the comments. Tell me what you want me to eat. Mm. Yum. I'm gonna go for a walk.
waited as long as I could. It is still 48 degrees out and it's only supposed to get colder now. So I don't want to be out here, but I am. It's going to be a short one today though, because burr, no ma'am. Real excited about dinner tonight. So we are having cracked out chicken tater tot casserole. So it's like a chicken bacon ranch tater tot, creamy, cheesy, happy comfort food thing, but high protein. I'm gonna throw this together. It's probably only gonna take like a, like 15 minutes or so to throw everything together, but I'm using the chicken that I already cooked last night, so I don't have to poach the chicken. I just need to throw everything else together and throw it in the oven. So let's do this. I'm really excited about it. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach with our free. Chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring. It will always be Christmas in my heart. But this year I wanna hang out with my friends and family. Making angels in the sand, you ready? Doesn't matter if it's Christmas. Be aware that this takes a while to bake, so it was real quick to throw together, but it spent a lot more time in the oven than I was expecting. It's like a loaded baked potato casserole meets chicken dinner, and it's delicious. This is comfort food times a thousand. That's real good. Oh yeah. You should definitely make that. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um. Mm. At this point, I think it's safe to say we got the protein problem licked. I have been hitting my protein goal for quite some time now. Today I hit 141 grams of protein. Well, once I finish this protein fluff. We ate dinner way later than what I hoped because I didn't realize that that tater tot casserole had to bake for like an hour. So I'm really not hungry right now, but calories are a thing. My mood did improve somewhat today. There were some definite non-scale victories. I was, it was very, very cold out today and I did not want to go for a walk. But at the peak of the heat for the day, which was 48 degrees, I finally just said, Mindy, quit stalling and just go. And yes, we did a much shorter walk. I went, well, not a much shorter, but a little bit shorter of a walk than we normally do. But at least I did it because in the past that would have just been me saying, ah, screw it, kind of thing. <laughs> so there was that, and then when I saw where Richard was and he was actually coming home fairly early, there was a part of me, I almost asked him if he wanted to go out for dinner instead of me making dinner. And I still made dinner, even though I really didn't want to. So those are big victories for me. Like when you guys, you guys always say like, when I tell you that I'm lazy, you're like, you are not lazy. You do all the things. You have to understand, like, it is a constant struggle for me. It is a constant battle of me fighting with the inner voice that just says to sit on the couch and do nothing. And a big part of why I'm able to do that is you guys, because I know that I have people watching. I have that accountability of not wanting to let you guys down. I mean, obviously I don't want to let myself down either, but we know if you watched that video that I posted that I am an obliger 
So it is very easy for me to let myself down and to not do things for myself, but it is not easy at all for me to let other people down. So even though it may not be the healthiest thing in the world, <laughs> it's part of my why and it keeps me on the straight and narrow for the most part, which I will take. So I think we're going to call it here for the night. I am very, very tired. That tater tot casserole, while it was really good, it's just kind of like sitting like a lump in my stomach. So I'm hoping that this is going to be a little bit lighter and it's going to sit easy. I'm going to enjoy eating this, snuggle with my puppy, cuddle under a blanket for a little bit, and then I'm going to go to sleep. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so that you know as soon as my next video goes live. They're a little all over the place right now, so that's a good thing to, because I can't exactly tell you when my uploads will be right now. <laughs> but I hope you did enjoy it, and I will see you in the next one. He's coming to visit. No, he wouldn't